Hello my materialistic minions, it's me Bo Shevisu coming to you today with the audio of an iPhone and now we're gonna switch to my video mic in three, two, one. And there we go. Now we are talking right into my video mic. As you can tell, it's much better, isn't it? Absolutely, of course you wouldn't film with an iPhone camera unless you're doing a video review and you want to actually show the differences between the audio. So now that you know that there is a stark difference between the audio, we are going to go ahead and hop into probably just my top three features as to why I personally would get this video mic over the older versions, or let's say for example, something else. Is this a good bang for your buck? Absolutely. Now, my top features to this is, well first, you put it on like so, this is my GH5, flick it on, Oh, but it's off, you'll see that right there. Oh, that's so lame, I have to push this, right? But no, you don't, this is so cool. So when you plug in the microphone into the side like that, look, it automatically lights up. See that little blue light? That's because it automatically turns on. The microphone senses that your camera is on. So when I turn off my camera, watch that little blue light, wait for it, wait for it. It turned off. So that will save battery life. You won't believe how many times I have forgot to turn off the microphone because I run a nonprofit film studio. We produce film for other nonprofits and I run all over the world from Cambodia to India to Africa. And I'm running and gunning as they say, as they, the industry likes to overuse that term. And uh, when I pull this out of my backpack and with the old mic, I would always drain the battery down. So I had to lug around these nine volt batteries with me. Now, it's phenomenal battery life. So even if you leave it on accidentally, but still, it is so nice. I have charged this thing one time. I have filmed for, with this for about eight months off and on. I do this for a living. So that's a lot of time wear and tear put on this thing. The only downside I'd say to this is it's big. It's like a blimp, look at that. It's, it, it dwarfs my camera. So if they can kind of miniaturize this later on, I would appreciate that. Uh, what I also like about it is the fact that you can actually pull out this cable and this cable. This is provided with it, by the way. And so if on the off chance you want to use this as a boom mic, you can do that in a pinch by just getting one of these uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks, male to male, and just get a longer type cable. And then you can just unscrew this, take this off, put it on a table in front of someone, and you are you know now three feet, the, the three feet from them. And it's phenomenal audio quality, uh, at least the bang for your buck as it goes. Uh, also, what they did is they upgraded the actual shock mount system. You will see now that there are no rubber bands, and that drove me absolutely crazy. Those rubber bands on the older type Rode video mics deteriorated so fast. I actually had to go to the hardware store and get more black little rubber bands. You know, the ones, you know, the little, little grommets, I think they're called. You put them around hoses, and I had to replace them. But now, you'll see that shock mount has absolutely no rubber bands on it. It's kind of this hard type plastic and uh, very, very, very helpful. So that's it. My name is Bo Shevisu. I hope that you've enjoyed this small little video review and quick little demonstration of this Rode microphone. The link is in the description in case you're wondering where I personally got mine off of Amazon. My name is Bo Shevisu. I will catch you later.